be available. You will need a cutting plier and tweezers. For crimp assemblies, we recommend using a DMC MH860 crimp tool. These are available from Daniels, various distributors or Limo. In addition, Limo has designed some specific positioners that enable to crimp the contact in the correct position. Strip the cable to the appropriate length. In our film, we show an automatic stripping machine for high volume production. Start by assembling all the components on the cable, such as the collet and the collet nut. If your design is using a bend relief, don't forget to slide that on first. Start stripping the individual wires. Fit the conductor into the crimp contact and make sure the wire is visible through the side inspection hole. This is a visual confirmation that the wire has been introduced far enough into the contact. Open the crimping tool, then push the contact fully into the positioner and complete one crimping cycle. Remove the assembled contact from the crimping tool and check that the conductor is secured into the contact and is visible through the inspection hole. Crimp all the other wires. Slide the assembled contact into the insulator according to the number ring visible on the insulator. Avoid twisting the conductors unless specified, for instance for high speed signals. Fit the contacts gently into the insulator and verify that no conductors are crossed before pushing them in completely. Check that all the contacts hold in the insulator, verifying their alignment at the front of the insulator. The contacts should remain in position when each conductor is given a gentle pull. Verifying the retention of the contact can also be performed with the recommended test tool. Now starts the final assembly of the connector. Locate the slotted upper half of the split insert carrier, then align and press together the other half to form a complete cylinder. Slide the plug shell over the insulator assembly, making sure that the key on the insert carrier goes into the keyway inside the shell. Align the key of the insert carrier with the keyway in the collet and move them together whilst checking that the screen is being clamped around the whole circumference and cut, if necessary, the excess of screen. The red dot on the connector is a good visual indicator that helps align the parts. Finally screw the collet nut with the appropriate tool and tighten to the maximum torque value of 0.5 Nm. If required, slide the bend relief onto the collet nut. 